like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and tell me in the comments below what your all-time favorite lightsaber is if you would like to enter to win a Force FX lightsaber of your own choosing. As the clone troopers turned on the Jedi Knights without warning, the bodies of their once allies began to pile up across the galaxy. The bodies of Jedi Masters to Padawans littered the halls of the Jedi Temple and planets all around the known galaxy from outer to inner rim. The clone troopers had mercilessly gunned down all of the Jedi they could find and executed them in the name of the newly formed Empire and their new Emperor, Palpatine. The clones were told that the Jedi were traitors and thus they treated them as traitors. What I remember about the rise of the Empire is… is how quiet it was. During the waning hours of the Clone Wars, the 501st Legion was directly transferred back to Coruscant. It was a silent trip. We all know what we were about to do. What was about to happen? Did we have any doubts? Any private traitorous thoughts? Perhaps. But no one said a word. Not on the flight to Coruscant? Not when Order 66 came down? And not when we marched into the Jedi Temple? Not a word. When the initial shock of Order 66 died down at the Jedi Temple, the clone troopers were ordered to make an example of the Jedi they had killed, as they gathered up all of the bodies they could find, stripping each of the now deceased Jedi of their lightsabers. Although the lightsabers would be destroyed, the bodies of the Jedi would not. The clone troopers then took the bodies to the outskirts of the Jedi Temple and piled them on the stairs leading directly into the temple as a direct sign that the Age of the Jedi was over and that the Age of the Empire was beginning. The clone troopers stationed on Coruscant even built an entire mound of bodies of dead Jedi as they wanted the legend and fate of the Jedi to be seen as far as possible. The clone troopers wanted everyone to know what they had done and that the Jedi Order was no more. Because of this horrendous sight, the people of course Coruscant gathered around the temple, as for what seemed like days, as the Jedi bodies continued to pile outside of the temple, higher and higher. The bodies were put there as an example, but they were also placed there to dissuade any Jedi survivors to act against the Empire, and any Jedi that arrived on the temple was instantly gunned down by clone troopers. Enraged at the sight of all their dead brothers and sisters, a group of Order 66 survivors gathered among the crowd at the temple and formulated a plan to charge on the clone troopers and kill as many as possible. Just as the order was given to attack, only a single Jedi charged forward, lightsaber held at the ready, as the rest of them watched in utter shock as he was easily torn to bits by blaster fire. The bodies of the Jedi would eventually be moved and disposed of, but for several days, the dead Jedi laid in front of the temple to represent the great fall of the Order and rise of the Galactic Empire and unknowingly the rise of the Sith. But that is what the clone troopers did with Jedi bodies during Order 66 and how they made an example of the Jedi that fell. But leave your thoughts on this in the comments below and as a question for the video, what do you think the worst thing a clone trooper has ever done? Again, don't forget to enter the lightsaber giveaway. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and tell me below what lightsaber is your all-time favorite. If you would like to interact with me directly, the best place to do so is via my Twitter, at StupendousWave. Link will also be in the description below. Thank you guys as always so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.